Hi everyone, this is your Ate Myra and for today's video as you can see from the title mag apply po tayo ng passport guys and um, gagamitin nating payment method si Paymaya So kung kayo may bala kayong mag-apply ng passport because you wanna travel somewhere then I think you have to watch this video para makahelp sa inyo and also guys you can do this using your computer or kahit yung mobile phone niyo pwede rin kasi sa video na to kinawa ko siya using the mobile phone okay so if you're interested i hope you keep watching and by the way guys i have a video about paano magbayad sa PSA helpline like um in this video kasi nag-request po ako ng Cinemar pero pwede din po kayo makapag-request ng birth certificate, marriage or death certificate using this website nso or psa helpline.ph also meron din ako kung paano mag-apply ng nbi clearance online gamit lang yung phone at babayaran using gcash so if you're interested ilalink ko na lang sa baba yung mga videos nito okay to apply for a passport, punta po tayo dito sa theportraveler.net kasi very informative po at step by step po talaga tayong iga-guide sa pag-apply po natin ng passport. Whether new application man yan or renewal, then this is the website to go. Ilalink ko na lang sa baba in case kailangan ninyo. Okay? Pero, let's start. Okay, dito sa baba ang dami information guys, like ano yung mga requirements, like this one, 
Uh, okay, tapos yung application form, birth certificate, valid IDs. And dito na guys, how to apply for a passport. First, ang gagawin natin, mag-schedule tayo ng appointment. Uh -huh. So, I have read and understood. And start individual appointment, then okay. Ayan siya guys. So, ito na yung magiging itsura, site location, saan mo gustong i-claim yung inyong passport. So, definitely DFA office or branch near you. And then, piliin nyo yung date na suitable for you. Pero, of course, you need to have PSA birth certificate, guys. And then, the time as well. So, makikita mo kung available or not. And then, after that, okay. Uh -huh. So, right after that, guys, fill in lang natin itong personal information like phone number, email address, first, last name, middle name, of course, birthday, and so many more then after that your family information naman like your father's information as well as your mother's information for mother's information yung mother's maiden name po yung ginagamit po like kagaya po ng nasa birth certificate po natin maiden name din po ng mother yung nilalagay so same here as well if you have a spouse kung married ka na then kailangan mo din ilagay dito yung last first middle name citizenship ng inyong spouse after the family information and dito na tayo sa application information so sasabihin or i-click mo yan or tatap mo magpipili ka ngayon kung new application ba siya or renewal application okay sa basis of philippine citizenship naman guys meaning Kung Filipino ka by when you were born, no? Pinanganak ang Filipino na or naturalization, something like that. So, most of us, kung Pinoy ka naman na pure, then piliin mo yung born. <laughs> okay? And also, ayan, um, emergency contact person, this is so important kasi naka-asterisk siya, guys. And yung contact number, then piliin mo lang yung next. Then after that, ito na yung contact information na kailangan mo ding lagyan complete address city province occupation office number pero hindi naman kailangan yung office number okay so after that guys you have the option po to choose kung anong classing processing type yung gusto ninyo meron po tayong regular processing that will take 12 working days for all consular offices. So, 950 pesos po siya. Tapos kung express processing naman, 1,200. So, that will take 6 working days for ASEANA and consular offices or 7 working days for consular offices outside Metro Manila. So, 6 to 7 working days po. So, in my case, 950 lang po or regular processing lang yung pinili natin. So, Piliin natin yung pay now. Okay? Then after that, I agree and then proceed to payment. And as you can see here, my 50 pesos po na convenience fee. fee. My convenience fee po na 50 pesos. So proceed lang tayo. So making it 1,000 pesos guys. Are you sure you want to proceed? Click OK. And then, pwede na tayong pumunta sa nearest branch to pay. So, ang gagawin natin, in that case, pupunta tayo sa ating um, pay maya to pay. Alright? But, before that, guys, then, guys, go to your email para ma-check mo po itong email na to. So, um, this is not your booking confirmation, guys, kasi magbabayad pa tayo na 950 plus the 50 pesos na convenience fee. So, take note mo lang itong reference number na DF8. Combination siya ng letters and numbers, guys. At pag na-take note mo na yan, then it's time for you to go sa Gcash app mo, PayMaya, or CoinsPH. Saan mo gustong magbayad, then that's fine. Basta yung reference number, take note of that. And, yeah, punta tayo dun sa PayMaya to pay na ngayon. Okay, so guys, gamitin natin si PayMaya para mapay or bayaran yung ating um, passport transaction na ginawa kanina, okay? So, for now, ang gagawin natin, punta tayo dito sa pay bills. Ayan, pay bills, hanapin natin dito yung DFA. 
or Department of Foreign Affairs. Ayan, DFA. Then, ilagay natin dito yung account number or yung reference number, yung amount na dapat natin bayaran, at yung contact number. So, kanina, nakita natin na 9.50 lang yung amount, di ba? Pero yung processing, I mean, may charge po na 50 pesos. Kaya, ang babayaran po natin in total is 1,000 pesos. Alright. So, here, hmm, Okay, so ilagay natin dito yung account number. Hindi ko na lang siya i ano uh, guys, pero account number yung amount at yung account I mean yung contact number. So ayan guys, um parang confirmation guys. So check natin yung account number kung okay. Pero actually guys, kung hindi naman tama yung account number na inenter nyo kanina, Doon sa first step ng pag-enter, then hindi ka makakapunta dito sa part na to. Okay? So, pay. And successful. Payment successful. Dapat makaka-receive po tayo ng email. Okay, here, pay Maya po siya, guys. Eh. Let's see the message. You have paid 1,000 from your PayMaya account to DFA with account number blah blah blah. Ayan. So, nag-send po ng SMS si Paymaya saying na nakapagbayad tayo sa ating DFA. Pero what I want to see guys is yung email. Gusto natin makita yung email saying na ayun nga. Okay? Wow guys. So, ito na. DFA Passport Appointment System Confirmation Notification. And dito na siya guys. You have successfully confirmed your passport appointment booking. So, yung appointment reference number po, ang haba. Site name, Jensen. Date will be October 7th at 10 o'clock. So, ayan na siya guys. Tapos, ito na yung mga next step na gagawin. Okay, may English, may Tagalog. Ayan. So, ito naman ko it open natin tong PDF file na sinend. Bibigyan lang tayo ng important reminders. Ayan. Check lang natin for a bit, guys. Important reminders, steps sa, at the data capturing site. At ito. Mm. Okay, ayan yung information na nilagay natin kanina. Eh. Yun. Tapos ito yung receipt. Saying na nakapagbayad na po tayo. Okay. So, yeah. That's it.